Hello everybody, this is TechStack here, and this is Modern Minecraft Inventions Episode 6. Um, today I'm going to show off a voice-activated security system in Minecraft. Um, in front of us we just have a regular cube, uh, or, or building, and in order to get in, all I have to just do is type off into my chat, and away go the walls. Once I'm inside the building, I can type on, and reactivate the walls. Um, the setup is uh, pretty simple. Just need to do a uh, MFFS projector, uh, power source, and then a capacitor over there to, to store some of the energy. Um, the commands are all controlled by this chat box here. Um, that is a, a block that is pretty much undocumented as far as I can see. Um, and of course you control it with the computer here. Let's go ahead and get into the code real quick. Um, first thing we do is just wrap the peripheral on the right. Um, and then as a debug I just say started um, and when you do that the block itself as you can see up here will actually broadcast a message um, on your server so it'll say started or whatever you put in between the uh, double quotes on this uh, string here um, then we go into this loop and we're waiting for an OS poll event of chat and that is the event that the chat box will broadcast when someone says something on the server. It has the parameters of a player name and a message. And you can see that I've printed that on the screen here. And because it knows the player name, you can make this setup player specific. So it will only work if I were the one that says on. It does not work if anyone else on my server were to say on. Um, and that's controlled by this line here. So if the player name is tech stack, it will continue on. If it says on, I'm writing this setting the redstone output on the bottom of this computer to true. If the message says off, I'm setting it to false. Sleeping for a second, going back through the loop. It's that simple. So um, let's go ahead and start this back up. You can see that it broadcasts the test message down here. And we can go off. And I'm out of my secure room. The uh, nice thing about doing this setup is, um, you know, I've seen somewhat similar setups with a player detector on the outside. Um, that's great and all, but it kind of gives a dig giveaway that, hey, there's a computer right behind here. This setup is completely remote. That computer could be, you know, as far into the MFSS force field as you want it to be so that no one can get at it and access it. Um, as you can see when I'm breaking this here, um, I cannot still go through these even though they're disappearing for a second. The force field is still active. Um, so yeah, this is just a, a nice convenient way of being able to use the chat box for remote access into your secure areas um, without anyone even knowing it's a secure area. You could have this all be um, smooth stone inside of a mountain for example. No one will know the difference until they want to try and break them on the blocks. So, anyway, this is TechStack signing off. Have a good day. Bye now.